Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a video over how to use this airbrush machine that Aero Blend sent me to try out. It's this one right here. It comes with this base, the airbrush itself, the hose, the char- or not the charger because there's no battery, but like the cord to plug it in and everything. And then they sent me a really good selection of some of their foundations to try out, uh, bronzer, illuminator, and blushes as well. I've used airbrush machines before, but only like cheap ones that I've bought online um, from like Amazon and stuff like that. And then I've not actually used airbrush foundation. I've mixed and made my own before, which <laughs> kind of didn't always turn out the best, but you know, you do what you can. And so whenever I reached out to them and try them out, I was really excited whenever they were like, yeah, sure, let's team up. So we did that. The value of this, the kit itself is like 119, so it's pretty good for all the kit that comes in there. The foundation is really long wearing, like crazy long wearing. For me, I'm like normal to drier, and I actually kind of noticed I had to wear a really thick hydrating primer. You'll notice I used the glycerin one, the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm to really help smooth out the skin. One of my biggest tips, because they recommend to clean it out every time you use it, which I would definitely agree with, is to put an old eyedropper, um, the top part screws off and it pops off, the plastic does, and I filled it with alcohol. You can dilute it down with a little water if you want to. I poured some in there and I just spray it out whenever I'm done, and that's probably the biggest thing I wish I had done previously, so that when I had tried it, it wouldn't have dried up, and this one has stayed really nice. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if y'all guys want to see my little quick tutorial over how to use this airbrush machine and how I got this look today, definitely stay tuned. Starting off with my Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm like normal. Like I said, I like this one especially with more matte or long wearing foundations. And then I'm going to go with my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is a very silicone based one that I'm just going to use in the T-zone to smooth out fine lines and enlarge pores. Then I'm going to use my new airbrush machine. I'm really excited with this. I've really been loving it. I'm going to start off with their shimmering champagne and take a few drops of that. And I'm going to basically cream highlight my face with a little glow before I get started with my foundation. Using my hand to protect my hair, I'm just giving the sides of my face a little glow before I put the foundation on. Then I'm going in with N10, I think was the shade that I used all over. And then I highlight my under eye with the N5. Same thing, protect your hair and buff that in in a circular motion. The one thing is you do have to be careful on the eye area not to squint your eyes because it'll cause the foundation to spray kind of unevenly around the eye area and you'll get creases. So just lightly close your eyes. Now I'm going to go with that shade N5 and that's where I'm going to highlight. And this is the one time when I'll use more of like a triangular motion versus circular. Then I'm going to spray a little bit onto my beauty blender and kind of buff that under eye and my eyelid out just a little bit. Then I'm taking their nude beach bronzer and I'm using this on the exterior to really give me some shape and color back to the face. And then I am using it in a bit of a like a line motion on the cheekbones to give me a little contour. Then I'm going to snatch my nose with that bronzer as well and put a little bit throughout my eyelids. Then I'm going to go in and buff that in with the N10 foundation that I was wearing just so that there's no lines. Then I'm going to take their Daydreaming Blush. This is a nice more purpley shade. Now I really like the formula of their blushes. They're very, very creamy finishing. So they actually leave the skin looking super hydrated. Then I'm going to take my uh, empty eye drops filled with alcohol and clean it out so that none of that foundation dries in there because it is long wearing it will dry it up and it'll be a pain in the butt the next time you go to use it. Lightly setting the under eye with a little bit of setting powder. Prepping my eyelid with an Anastasia Base 1 eyeshadow primer. Then I'm taking Peach Smoothie and I'm going to throw that all in my crease. Then I'm going in with Latte to darken that exterior corner. Then I'm going to go in with Babyface, my favorite blending shade, throw it on the brow bone, and then blend the transition color into that brow bone. Now this is a shade I had not used before, Shimma Shimma. Apparently a bunch of people use it for their cheekbone highlight, and this was the first time I used it, and immediately after putting it on my eyelid, I was like, I have to highlight my whole face with this. 
So I use it on my eyelid, but I also highlight my nose and my cheekbone. Then I'm gonna take the peach smoothie and latte both and smudge them out underneath my eye. I'm really focusing the color on the outside so that my eyes will look as big and rounded as possible. And then hit that inner tear duct with a little shimmer shimmer again. Then I'm taking Tuscan Sun, which is one of their new shades they came out with. It's got a nice like peachy shade to it without it being too orange. And I'm gonna throw that on the inside part just to give my eyes some color and pop a little bit under the lash line as well. Putting my Anastasia Base 1 in my inner rim to brighten the eyes. And then I'm gonna take Shima Shima again and highlight that cheekbone. Dust away any extra under the eyes. To take any extra foundation that I got on my hairline, I use the Benefit They're Real in the Brown Mascara and a disposable spoolie. Then I'm gonna go in with the Bite Blanc to white out the lip line and to give me a wider base to start with so that the pink lipstick I'm using will really pop. Then I'm going to take Bang Bang from Urban Decay and work that all over the lips. All right, let's go do some hair and I will be back. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to like and comment below and let me know down in that comment section what else you guys are wanting to see. Make sure that you check out Aeroblend's Instagram and their other social media to see some of their stuff that they're posting as well. And check out their um, website as well if you do want to pick up some of their stuff. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. My Instagram is fakeface underscore one. My Twitter is under Mr. Fakeface. Snapchat's Otis.read and my Facebook is under Reed Scroggins. Check me out there if you want to see me post a little bit more often. And remember guys, it's your life. Make it beautiful.